Hello, this is Gwathorms Games and Capture Fail in the driver's seat. But Gwathorn is sitting and watching. Yes. And uh, this is the latest in our series of low level classes doing maximum difficulty. Yes. When it comes to all servers, it will be called Heroic Plus Two, but right now it's called Deadly Plus Six. And this is Treebeard Server. But Gwathorn has verified on Bullroarer that it will be just the same when it comes to the other servers. There's a, a slight difference in one of the uh, Eye of Sauron is a poison gas, but other than that, the difficulty level's basically yeah. the same. Mm hmm. Right, now, these are yellow raiders, and I'm going to start by knocking one out. Sending javelins his way while he's down. And then when he gets to me, I'm mostly using. Whoop, I'm using. Uh, Persevere. Now, if I can get an extra bit of healing there. Oh. But that's two eyes of Sauron in the same fight. And he's no. running away. Yeah. And he's also. So that fight was made hard from the corruption that's on him. Yes. And I don't have a means of removing corruption yet. And on low level, yes. But I did just find a strange medallion. So, let's carry on. I decided to do this one by actually doing some quests rather than just running around looking for trash mobs. Yeah, a level 13 warden. It's, mm -hmm. it's uh... Yeah, cool. What can I do for you? Stay on with this. Grimbriar's Spy is over this way. But, use a yellow bear. And I'll go for the splinter tusk, it's more on my way. And I won't always have uh, this ambush attack available. And I can see the corruption again. Yep. And I didn't see that coming. Concentrating on other things, and it's got a corruption again, making it tougher. But you're doing well. I mean, you, it's it's you're going against yep. yellow. It's yep. it's uh, it's it's succeeding. So you're using perseverance, ranged perseverance. Persevere. It's Persevere? Yeah. No, not ranged. Oh, not ranged. No, I'm using some ranged attacks here, but uh, I'm in uh, in the fray stance, oh, okay. melee stance. Okay, yep. So all my oh, uh, gambits are melee gambits. Oh, this is going to be hard. There's a yellow and an orange. Come on, I keep getting the wrong combination and I don't know how. Well, I'm, I'm messing it up. Up again. Yeah, it's just disappeared, isn't it? 
Yeah, orange is too much for a warden. Yes. Uh, so by starting with yellow, I've opened myself up to the possibility of orange things. Uh, and it's especially bad in combination. So uh, what I should do... What virtue traits are you wearing? Oh, I should go through the character in general, shouldn't I? Um, let's just bring up the gear. Uh, the usual level 12 gear, uh, silver jewellery and leather armour. This is also the sort of the second tier of crafted gear. Uh, so this is crafted. Medium armour. No, no, journeyman crafted, yeah. Yeah. And the weapons? Uh, right. Made of ash wood, uh, which is also second tier. Um, woodworker. Yeah. From the woodworker, yeah. And I even got uh, the second tier armourer, the Beorning, to produce me an iron Morton's shield. Excellent. So I've got the best gear you could, I could really have. Uh, <clears throat> now, it's a blue warden with all the points pumped into uh, improving persevere and so everything depends entirely with, with no sort of outright healing except the potions everything depends entirely on the persevere and how much uh, health I can replenish while fighting I don't really have much choice but twice during that last fight I got the wrong uh, gambit, yeah. and I don't know why. Okay. Um, okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, these. You've started on the defensive. Oh, yes. yes. Uh, this one hasn't earned anything yet, but all of them are tactical mitigation and physical mitigation. And, uh, and some resistance as yeah. well, yeah. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, but I need something just leveled a little lower. Uh, the bandits to the west would do. Perhaps, yeah. I know I've, I've uh, mm. tried running the burglar on the bandits to the, to yeah. the left. So. Uh, the white. Oh, they might be a bit high because you're level 13. Well, I mean, let's have a look at this. Uh, oh, I'll pick this up again. Would you do something for me? It's level 14, so it's just one level above me uh, as a quest. But if I head down towards the smith. Yeah, there'll be, there'll be more. What's that one? Uh, another orange. Yeah, I'm really in the wrong area. Um, What's your name? Can I speak with you a moment? Find Nate. So, is there anything that's white here. Nope. thinking um, maybe the creatures near the home area would be good like heading towards the Midgewater Marsh okay I'll just hand this in greetings um, 
It's a medium armoured character, so it's, yeah. it's going to have problems um, against the, the hard stuff, against the too many levels higher. It's, it's just... And too many in quantity because uh, I don't have area of effect gambits yet. Yes. Uh, <clears throat> yes. We're going to do 50th level versions of all these classes on extreme difficulty and um, I believe that the majority of them are going to be easier at level 50 than at level... 15 or whatever it was yeah. doing it yeah. because the full range of abilities are available. Yep. Yep. No, I agree. I agree. But we, we'll do that when Heroic mm. Plus 2 hits mm. on, after update 36. Yep. So these these are tree beard characters at the moment. So there's what ranges to the right? Oh, uh, bandits to the right? No. No. Okay. You're going into the midst water. Oh, you're going for the. Oh, okay. Yep. There's no bandits anywhere over there. Okay. He's a dark blue. taken a very small proportion of his hit points and I just saw the corruption go on. Yeah. What is that? Just turned on everything at once. Still, that was pretty good. Yeah. Uh, let's leave out the uh, ambush. Yep. Corruption again. And I got the wrong uh, gambit again. Uh, this slight delay while I run out of this damn thing uh, seems to be confu either confusing me or confusing the system. It's like I can, um, I really can't stop and run in the middle of a gambit yeah. build. And, and you're, you're being, you're, you've got a, the defensive virtue traits, so you might want to stand and deliver um, as your best option just to keep your traits, keep your, your, your uh, gambits going. So try it. Stand and deliver. Oh, sorry, no, just, just keep fighting. I thought you were talking about some ability no, I no, never no. heard of. <laughs> no, no, no it's, it's, it's a song. <laughs> Head towards Goblin Hall. See, that's yellow. We're back to yellows again. Goblin. I'll just go straight up and get into it. Nice. So that's the simplest possible case, but it, because it was so simple and nothing else going on, I was able to keep a close eye on the Gambit building. Yeah. Um, yeah. See, if you've half built a gambit and then uh, your t target dies, that can confuse you in terms of moving on to the next target. Yeah. You go, go in with a half built gambit and don't realize it. But of course, that, all that's got nothing to do with uh, difficulty level. It's the difficulty of a warden intrinsically. Now that definitely needs range attack. <laughs> that 
That's what I like to see. That's what you like to see for a sapper. Mm -hmm. yeah. Seem to be finding every colour but white on the enemies. See? Yeah. <laughs> Turquoise to yellow. color but white. <laughs> oh, couldn't happen to a better sapper. Oh. <laughs> oh, sorry. Where is a level 13 area? Normally when you go through level 13 you're doing um, the instances in round Brie, which mm. is useless for showing yep. um, yeah. the difficulty levels. Uh, done this the Shire, yet. some of the goblins in the Shire, the, they might be a bit well, high. And when you get to um, What's this? Harvest flies. Stuff around the harvest flies and um, Budgeford is level 10. Okay. Uh, quest wise, when you go to Brock and Borings, where all the goblins are, it's level 12. Okay. And I think that the quest for the bats from, the, from Scary is level 13. Doesn't mean the bats are there. Okay. Um, but I've got nothing else to do but keep trying to find something my level. How do you do? When I've shown what it's like with things just above you and things just below you. Yeah, but you um, only show one levels. Yeah. Okay. And the only time I've been killed so far is when I had a yellow plus an orange. Yes. Yes. Cool. See, I've What's already got like quests that? my level, but the creatures were not. No, that's right. Bats are uh, on level apparently ish. We'll see what they actually are. <laughs> Turquoise.
Yellow. Yellow. White. Hooray. One bat at last. I'll just provoke him rather than use the stun. See, I've got a half-built gambit when I had to run away from that. He died before I finished it anyway. So, there was no trouble against a single white creature. Yep. Um, but like most of the medium yeah. armour creatures, medium armour characters, you can't mm. really push them over level. So a lot depends on what you want to do with your character under max yeah. difficulty. If you want to follow the epics, well the epics are sometimes going to throw you into positions like that one yeah. with our orange and uh, the yellow creatures. Yeah. And, uh, and so you, boss, need, you, need, you need to be slightly above yeah. level. Um, unlike the minstrel, which I did last, that needs to be way above level yeah. to survive. So you can put the warden in the category along with the brawler, um, and what else? The champion, the captain. Uh, it's quite viable um, on level or maybe a little more. Uh, Bjorning is in a category of its own, being the easiest of the lot. It's, heal yeah. it's healing is so good. Yeah, the yellow line, yep. Captain. Uh, yellow line, Bjorning, that is. Mm. Yes. Okay, well, that will do for the minstrel. Uh, for minstrel. Uh, the, for the warden. Okay. And I would quite happily play a warden continuously, the way I'm playing the Bjorning at the moment. Uh, on Deadly Plus Six. Some other time. Yep. Okay. okay. Bye.